Oh, I have two things that I need to film that I can't right now because it's late at night. Where the heck would he have put the remote? But let me summarize. I have spent the weekend at my parents' house. I stayed there Friday night, but not Saturday night. You can really see it in the hair. I don't know also what's with this lighting I have. But twice this year, Gregory has let me have a weekend to myself to just do whatever that I wanted, to feel like me again, to reset, hang out with friends, whatever, whatever I want. And I decided after coming back from the second one that Gregory needed at least one of those. With the way that our summer was gonna go, I wasn't gonna be able to give him two as well. Because one of mine was in the summer, one was in the winter, but you know, with baby coming and everything, it's just not realistic. But I could give him one, at least one. So this was his weekend to do his stuff. <laughs> And so I was not at home all weekend, except I did come home last night at like 10 30 or 11 or something and put the boys in their beds here just because Sunday mornings are so much easier together and we both were gonna be at church anyway. So we we're like, this makes more sense. But why, one of the things that Gregory wanted to get done over the weekend was put driving all the posts for the pasture fencing. We tightened all of the wires. So now basically all that's left is he has to put in the posts for the gates, put up the gates, which arguably should take a lot less time than doing all the posts, but still something you could probably get done in an afternoon along with the other two remaining things, which would be hooking up the electric and ratcheting all of the wiring tight. So he's got like the wiring for the fence up and it's like tightened like hand tightened, but he's gonna use a ratchet wrench, I think he said. If you know tools better than me and I'm wrong, I'm sorry. But he just said ratchet. That will tighten it fully once the fence is there and we know how much it's gonna like pull and give and everything so nothing snaps. Cause then he'd have to rewire it all and he doesn't wanna do that. <laughs> Obviously you wanna make it tight enough to hold up, but not so tight that it's gonna snap with any pressure against it. Cause horses will lean into fences sometimes. So anyway, very exciting. He's out in his shop right now cause that was the other thing he wanted to do besides playing video games and just relaxing all weekend. And he didn't quite get to finish his shop cause he really wanted to do the posts. So he's been working on it now and he's very excited about it. So he's out there doing that. I just unloaded everything from the car because I purchased a bunch of stuff. I needed some stuff from Sam's Club and they had a bunch of things on sale like tissues and Clorox wipes and stuff like that, that arguably I could coupon cheaper in other ways, but normally those involve like some type of couponing element that I don't have because I haven't committed fully to the couponing thing and they were a good price. Not great, but good. So they were all on sale. And then tissues and whatnot which I never see on sale. So I was like, the tissues I need because I've had this like weird cold thing. Not the point. Anyway, uh, cat food that we buy is on sale. We're gonna go through it. So I was like, we're gonna buy some. And then today I took my mom to Costco and I, I only got garlic, but she got a bunch of stuff. And then I needed vinegar from Sam's Club to kill some weeds. So I'll be doing that the next couple of days. And then I got like what another thing that I can't remember. But then on Saturday, Dollar General normally has their 25 off 25 coupon on Saturdays that you can use in the app or you can like most Dollar Generals in my area at least don't do like pickup orders anymore. But that's okay because I like to do them in person because they always say that they're out of stock online but they have like five of them in the store and they're just not good at updating which is okay because it's dollar general like I'd rather just go in it's okay I just like to like find them on the app put them in my list and then go to the store and buy them but this week they had ten dollars off 40 which is 25 percent off instead of 20 percent if you like hit that exact dollar amount but still a better deal and I got ninety dollars worth of stuff for fifty dollars after taxes up front and then I got a bunch of money back for my bada. And I just picked the things that I know I was gonna use. I didn't do like all the like really good coupons, all the really good deals because I don't really always use all that stuff. And until I get like fully committed to all the cash back and stuff, I don't wanna buy the stuff that I can't use with some exceptions. It's also a really good Target deal this week that I'm gonna do, but it has laundry detergent I can't use. So I'm gonna give that to my sister-in-law cause she can use it and I, cannot. Point is, very excited about my couponing, so I gotta go put that stuff away and then unpack a bunch of stuff. Gabriel got a bloody nose today all over his clothes. Long story, he got hit with a swing. Long story. So we gotta stay and treat that and then get it ready for the wash and just clean up the toys that the boys took out this morning before we went to church. So I'm gonna do that tomorrow in the daylight. I'm gonna show you the fencing and the boys room for a different video, but I'm gonna film a clip of that. You'll see that before you see this, which if you haven't seen it, go check it out. Lots of nesting projects between shopping 
and cleaning. Those are like my two big nesting things. I bought a girl's baby outfit that I have to show you. I don't know where it is right now. I don't remember where I put it. I think I put it in a, in a dirty laundry basket or something. So cute. But I got it for free from Carter's because it was buy one get one free clearance for something that I was gonna buy on clearance anyway So I was like, it's fine. It's free. We have young mother's night this week and a bunch of other stuff I've got my maternity pictures. It's like a whole big week, but that's the update of what we did this weekend I'll show you another glimpse of like everything once it's clean and then I'm just gonna chill for the night I've got a calendar to reset. I've got grocery list to write. I've got a meal list to write I've got to reset my planner and my calendar and I've got to update my to-do list so I've got a lot of like little organizational projects that I need to do. I'm gonna see how many I can get through before Gregory decides he's done. Cause when he's done, he's gonna come inside and we're gonna watch a show together if he's awake enough for that. And then we're gonna go to bed. But so the first thing I need to do is get everything cleaned up so he can come into a nice clean house. Cause I want him to have a good end to his weekend start to the week. So the other stuff I can do tomorrow just fine. Anyway, that's the update. yesterday about that newborn outfit i bought isn't this so cute the color is off because it's weird lighting in here because it's raining but isn't this so cute look at it. it's so cute and it's like i think it's a good like fall outfit went into winter which if i were to have a girl is when my baby would be born my sister's having a baby in like december january so i think it'd be good for either of us so hopefully one of us has a girl i think it's so cute i absolutely love it and i got it for free so now it's going downstairs to wait until it needs to be washed. As bright as it gets when it's raining out, but like all the toys put away. It looks pretty great, I think. Really like how it turned out. Nice and cozy. Enjoyed coming along with me to redo the boys' room and reset my toys. It, I didn't show as many of the steps as I took just cause it was a whole process and I was on a time crunch. But you still got to see all the big stuff, the important stuff. I think the hardest thing was like sorting the toys. I think the hardest thing was sorting the toys and then going through each category was fine, but sorting them was really difficult. Okay, this, I know it's kind of hard to see cause it's raining. So let me just like, woo, I'm getting in rain on. Uh, look at that fencing. Is that not amazing? Okay, we're rolling back up the window because I'm soaked now. Um, but look at this. Ooh. You see that? Mm, great job. So that's the fence update. I'm so excited. I can't wait to see my horses in here. Oh, I'm so excited. I mean, we need a gate, a water, the three-sided shelter, feeders and stuff, but all little in comparison. This is such a huge step. Anyone who knows, knows. And if you don't, please appreciate it with me because <laughs> it's so beautiful. I have my maternity pictures today. I am so excited. We're not quite 32 weeks, but I'll be 32 weeks on Thursday and it's Tuesday. So I'm trying on different outfits. This is the one that I made specifically like when I found out I was pregnant for this photo shoot. I'm gonna pick up flowers. So just include that in the look. So it's a dress that I actually took apart. It is not maternity, so it's a little tight. But like this is the top. I would wear a bra with it. I just don't have one on right now. It's like got cuts on the sides. And then obviously skirt, but with the skirt, yeah, it's just, so it's like buttons down the front. It's like flowers outside. It's supposed to be like a perfect day today. So that's the plan. And then I'm gonna bring it back up just in case I decide I hate it. But so far I've looked at myself in like pictures and videos of it. Cause I honestly, I haven't worn it since I finished making it. And then I'm bringing this green one that I wore to my birthday party. They're a similar color palette, different like actual colors obviously, but similar color palette. So I should be able to do like the same makeup without having to feel like, oh no, it doesn't match. I'm gonna curl my hair. I washed it last night. You know how it has those like undertones of wet, even though it's dry? That's what it is right now. And I want it to get fully dry. So I'm gonna quick put on some other clothes for the day. What I'm happy about with these nails is they've got pink and green in them, so they match both my outfits. I did not plan that. The nail lady was like, oh, these are supposed to have yellow centers. I grabbed this pink by accident and put it on without thinking, hang on, let me fix it. And I was like, no, go with the pink. Perfect choice. Very excited. <laughs> I'm 
Good morning. Today is Wednesday. Yesterday we had maternity pictures. Tomorrow I'm 32 weeks. There's a lot of me talking in this video. Sorry. Yesterday was exhausting. I intended to only go to town for my chiropractor appointment and then come home. And like I had to get gas, so I did that too. But then my mom had a flat tire and then my sister was at my mom's house and I needed to talk to her. So we ended up being there for a while and then I was waiting for a friend of mine to get back to me. It turns out our phones just uh, didn't deliver messages properly. Or at least mine didn't receive it properly. So anyway, whole ordeals. Today, we're gonna try and go to the county fair. I need to get some work done this afternoon and the boys are gonna try and go outside at some point. But I've got laundry to do first. We just are finishing up breakfast and we had cereal, but I'm probably, honestly, cause it's like 11, I'm probably just gonna eat snack all the way through lunch. Like, we're gonna make myself an egg at some point. Like, go do laundry, make myself an egg and then do another task and then make lunch. <laughs> Cause I'm so hungry. <laughs> I can eat so much food. Okay, let's go clean. Boys, laundry is put away. I'm gonna go down and get the dog that is downstairs. Let the dog up here out. Once everyone has gone to the bathroom, bring them back in and feed them. Cause Gregory did not get to that this morning. I'm gonna go down and get a dog. Someone to explain to me why my kids will take off their shoes the second they get outside, even though they know they need them on to go outside. Anyway, all things considered, I'm gonna, I'm in the chicken coop. I'm gonna get some of the stuff cleaned out. Dogs are all out. Kids are playing on the playset over there. Honestly, it's been kind of a crabby day. Even it, though we've like done a lot of good stuff with our time and whatnot, it has just been cranky. Aww. And I know that that might not like actually make sense as a statement, but if you know, you know. I saw my broody hen move yesterday after I put watermelon in front of her. We're gonna try and turn it around here. Lots to do outside, so we're gonna try and get it all done. It looks like it might storm later today at some point. I don't know. We should look at the forecast because we want to go to the fair. But it's still cooler than it was. It has been for a couple of weeks. Good stuff. I think, so, back here, this is where our chicken tractor has, like, gone down this path back here. You can tell because it's totally different colors and or barren, depending upon the spot. But the grass that's coming back in is better, healthier, thicker, fuller, whatever. So I'm trying to see what path we're going to take because we're almost at the field. And this is, like, the end of the garden plot. Almost. We have a little farther to go. But I'm kind of thinking about, like, do we turn it around and then, like, make a line back so that it's like parallel lines back and forth, kind of like you're mowing the grass. Or do we do something else? We're gonna get in here with the chicks, get down and dirty. Good morning, it is Thursday. I'm gonna be doing my 32 week update a little bit later. It's cool out this morning. Yesterday, it was warmer and then rain all night long. We're out here playing. The boys had breakfast. I had part of finishing their breakfast. The dogs ate and went out and I got everyone dressed and that's it. That's all we've accomplished this morning. Oh, I also picked my maternity photos from my gallery because <laughs> there were so many, too many, too hard to choose. I'm really excited to do our family session too after the baby is born. But I'm buying a lot more pictures out of that one because I'm gonna need a lot. I promised him when I would get bean bags down, so I'm gonna get down bean bag costs for him and then see what's on my agenda for today. I have the meeting I thought I had today. I forgot that it moved to tomorrow. But I do have a meeting today. And then young mom's night that I gotta prep for and a bunch of other random stuff that I gotta do. So, we're gonna get started on that. I filmed my 32 week update and took my pictures, which is good. I love taking them on time. It makes me feel better. I don't know why that's a metric for feeling better for me. Just cause you know, I like to set goals and follow them, keep them. Getting better at being okay with not doing that. It's like 11 o'clock. I'm gonna get started on lunch cause I'm gonna make this summer squash soup, I think and peanut butter and banana sandwiches. My kids are gonna only want peanut butter, a peanut butter roll up, and they're probably not gonna eat the soup, honestly, but we'll see. I'm gonna make myself a peanut butter banana sandwich for while I'm cooking. The boys are playing in their room right now because they just had a snack. I need a snack, I don't really have much. And we're gonna get started on this soup that I've 
actually really looking forward to. I clean up my sink. That's a chore type stuff. Probably gonna listen to a podcast while I do it, but we'll see. Love, Genevieve.